So we just got into our, what is this, first classroom? Yeah. On the train. At nighttime, they're gonna be making two beds here somehow. But let's give you guys a tour. I'm gonna put my stuff down real quick. So we entered through this way, and I had a ton of bags, so I had a trouble going through this door. I got stuck. It's really narrow. It's like a, um, let's see, it's like one, two, three. I wanna say 20 inches. There are windows on the side, a bunch of uh, rooms on the left. Oh, why does my bra keep showing? I'm trying to give you like a whole view of this room. And then we have a sink right in the corner, uh, soap. Oh, let me open it for you. This door is a little bit heavy. Oh! Also, there's a gentleman who came and asked if we want Pringles or some uh, other Thai snack and drinks. But I said, no, this door is kind of heavy, actually. What a workout. Okay, here we have glass cups. And I guess we could put a water bottle here. Which is this? I'm going to try opening wherever this is. a connecting door so if you get four people then you can just oh, keep this open. Oh I yeah. see. Yeah. I was thinking it was a bathroom but I guess oh, not. No. So I guess we'll have to close it then. I wonder if this opens. And then oh electrical outlet. Perfect. I can recharge my bath puppies. Ooh call button. Same color as my nails. Push it and it lasts for about two seconds. I think these are the bed cushions. We have a clothing rack. Very nice. Oh, it looks like legs and a foot, right? It looks like a, someone sitting on the side. Kind of like this. What happens if I switch this? Should I switch it? Can I go for it? <laughs> okay, let's go for it. No! Oh, okay, it was just a light. Lights off. Bright dimmer. And then volume. If an announcement goes on, we'll play around with that one. Oh, what's this? Oh, I guess this is for the person on the upper bed to put their stuff in. We have the Rochambeau for the bed. I can sleep anywhere. <laughs> I'll sleep on the ceiling. We're gonna start the charging party early so later on we don't freak out. And what's this? There's a lot of things that make me want to push and pull here. We can have a dance party in here. Okay. Check out the restroom. Oh, this is a locking thing. Okay, so let's open this. It's not like I'm constipating. Why is it so hard to? Oh, you're stronger than me, obviously. Okay, we got lucky. We're located right next to the restroom. And what is this? Is this a squat toilet? Oh my gosh, it's a squat toilet. Oh, there's a shower in here as well. The sinks in our rooms are actually bigger than the sink in the public bathroom here. I just completed my business. I use this as the button you push to flush. What is this though? Is like an extra lock? Whoa! If you want to see the sights, the passing landscapes, definitely ride this during the daytime. However, it is a long ride. How many hours was it, Sarah? Uh, it's 12 hours. 12 hour ride. 13. 13 hour ride. However, if you uh, take this ride during the nighttime, then you could save money on accommodation. You want to try some watermelon seed? Sure. Pick this up from 7 Eleven for only six baht. I mean, how much can you charge for watermelon seeds, to be honest? I've never seen watermelon seeds so big. As big as my finger. Ah. Exactly my sentiment. Maybe you don't eat the outside? <laughs> Maybe you eat the inside only. 
I think you're not supposed to eat the outside. The outside is like a shell. See, there's a white thing that comes out of the shell. It's not a snack you eat when you're really hungry, because if you're really hungry, you'll have no patience to get to the inside. Okay, I found out a trick. You put it in your mouth like vertically like this, not horizontally, okay, vertically, and then go, you hear that crack, right? And then it opens up. And if you're not a patient person, this will train you to become patient. All right, so it looks like this is an armrest. It looks inappropriate. <laughs> Let's put it back up. So Sarah, how do you like this place? How does it make you feel? It feels like a blast to the past. It feels like we time traveled to the 90s. Yeah. Oh, sure and right the Wi-Fi right. doesn't work here, so it's kind of nice. Yeah. You don't you don't get stuck in the uh, internet zone. You just really like enjoy everything for what it is. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we make a couple stops on the way to Chiang Mai. Dinner time! Well, my meal looks a little withered and sad, but it's okay. I'm gonna add some of the cashews I got from 7-Eleven. And Sarah, what did you get? Heck you, Mao. What I notice is when the Thai people cook, they don't peel their garlic all the time. So I will use that tactic when I cook. And people question me like, why'd you do that? I'd be like, it's Thai. It's Thai style. So it makes it acceptable. If you really want to know what's in here, it's carrot, uh, baby corn, broccoli. Uh, I see some cabbage in there as well and tomato. That does not look like food. It looks like a pet. It looks like a, a giraffe. It's like a sandwich. Why does it have a butthole? <laughs> Where? Right here. Oh, right here. Oh, the belly button. Cashew time! Pasta, I'm gonna see if the restaurant in the back is open. Let me push the button.
I could only water twice. <laughs> oh, the train started to move. <laughs> So I wasn't expecting anything, but once I got up here, yeah. it feels very fun. There's a little shelf on the end. Peekaboo! Oh, this is my bed. And let's hang this in our closet. Below my little shelf, I can look outside and action. Passing people. Okay, actually, because we're right next to the bathroom, we can see if there's a queue on the other side of the curtain. Sarah parked her stuff on this shelf and I parked all my stuff here. <gasps> this light goes on. Ooh. Whoa, that's really bright. We have a little hammock here. I'll put my water inside. Our charging station. And that's the light switch on and off. And because it's not too far away from me, I could turn on and off. That's convenient. Yeah, so if you want me to switch the light off there, I'll do it. And I'm in charge of AC up here too. <laughs> you know, typically being on the second floor like a bunk bed, people don't always like it, but there's a lot of amenities. The travel agent was saying that uh, it could get quite cold at nighttime because of the AC. However, it's not too cold right now. After all, we can adjust these guys. I recommend that you take a shower before you take the sleeper train. Another tip is use the restroom when the train stops. Because I just used the restroom right now and it's like playing a point and shoot game. What time were we waking up again? Six. If you could sleep through this, you could sleep through anything. Last time there was an ounce of daylight and we're looking outside, it was all cityscape. But now it's all just greenery. I would say I slept better than expected, but uh, if you're a light sleeper, I recommend you take the daytime train instead. So we're close to Chiang Mai. We'll be there at 7 a.m. As for makeup, this morning, I'm not gonna even try. The gentleman is undoing our bed now. Oh, there's a toilet! Western toilet too! Oh, this one has no shower though. I think we're here! Oh! Oh, okay. Gonga! You got everything? Okay. The gentleman just took my bag and we are getting on board. Come back. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the train ride. To find out what we do today and the rest of this trip, make sure you stay tuned for the next few vlogs. Bye bye! And a Greek goodbye!